Howdy fellow submachine peeps. In today's video, we're gonna be building another laser cutter. This is the Algo laser. Um, and they were nice enough to send me one to try out and also an air assist pump and a honeycomb kit for it. So we're gonna put all this together. We're gonna to show you how it works. We're gonna cut some wood with it and we're gonna start right now. All right, now we got the actual kit box out. So let's go ahead and open it and see what we got. All right. We have our quick start guide. We have what appears to be just a piece of a uh, piece of wood to cut later. Very nice packaging. Oh my gosh. Look at how nice that thing's packaged. Look at that. Power cord. We have our, let's see, we have our laser with magnets, air assist and all that. There's the actual laser unit. Um, there are belts, um, air assist tube. I don't know exactly what that is. I guess we'll figure that out in a little bit. Um, let's see. We have our some of the rails. We have safety glasses. And we have our base power supply unit. We have our angle brackets that uh, that mount everything together, mount all the angles together. The, the the rail. Two more of those. I have not seen the control panel. Here is the uh, here's the actual um, actual gantry nice heavy all heavy aluminum nice clicky switches okay there's a usb cable it looks like it uses just a it looks actually it's actually a usb c which is kind of cool and then the, the the actual control panel is right here coming with a stop switch an emergency stop switch then you gotta, that's really nice. A lock and unlock, a nice power. Heck yeah. And the only other thing are the other rails to complete the unit. So that should be everything, yep. So I'll go ahead and read the directions and we'll see where we need to start uh, putting everything together. First up, we're gonna assemble the frame. This is a very straightforward assembly. Just make sure you're using the red anodized pieces and keeping everything as square as possible. Once you get one side assembled, put the gantry on before assembling the other side of the frame. After that, it's time to add the belts. The easiest way to install the belts is to first route them through the middle around the pinion gear of the motor and then tighten everything into place. Once you have the belts installed, it's time to install the limit switches. When you install these, please check the directions and make sure they're contacting the red anodized pieces to actually trigger the limit switch. When you move the axis forward, it should click the switch to let the machine know it's at the limit. Now it's time to mount the laser module. This is extremely easy as it slides into the guides and is held in place with a few thumb screws to allow for adjustments. Next, we need to install the control panel. It's only held on with just a couple screws and is very easy to line up on the rail. The Wi-Fi antenna is located in the back of the control panel. After that, you just need to plug up the limit switches, X and Y motors, and the laser module. Some cable management will be needed, but the default cable management just isn't good enough in my opinion. I think it's gonna require some drag chain or some other solution. All right, guys and girls, this is the air assist pump that comes with the Pro Kit. And Alright 
yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it comes with a couple connections. Basically, the air assist is like the easiest thing in the world to set up. You basically just take the rubber hose and you just pressure fit it over the top and just push it down. It's really that simple. And on the other end, you have the uh, their push connectors. We'll go ahead and undo this and I'll show you how they work real quick. All right, now this is just as easy as the air assist is built in. You just kind of push it down in there and that it stays locked. And you'll see it'll move with it. Now you may want to do, think about some drag chain to, to put that where it will actually move better with it, which is what I did on my longer ray, but that's up to you. All right, guys, uh, now we're gonna hook it up and go ahead and try it. And we're gonna hook our extension cord up to our shop. There we go. Confirmed, we got power, now we have uh, emergency. Okay, we'll go ahead and there we go. I assume if you do that, yeah. That is such a cool, that is such a cool thing. You could literally just pop the switch and emergency stop. There we go, okay. And let's go ahead and pull the plastic. Go ahead and do it in English. We're connected successfully to the Wi-Fi. Okay. It's it's a nice machine. It's very um Go ahead and let it home. Cool. Interesting. So there's a flower we can try first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then see, it has a, let's zoom in so you can see exactly what's going on with that. Like it has different, um, we'll go ahead and try it. We'll, we'll go ahead and we need to refocus it first though. Like, um, we'll go ahead and pull the power for right now. We'll go ahead and turn the power off. And we'll go ahead and focus it on the material. Which you do that by loosening, I'll show you that real quick too. We'll go ahead and focus it. You use this little block here to actually focus it. So we're gonna get it all the way down there on the material. You can see how that does that, and then you can just pull it. And now that's how you focus it. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. Um, wood. We're gonna do the high quality. We're just gonna run this test just to get it engraved. Uh, power 100%, speed fast. And we're just gonna engrave. We're gonna see what it does. Uh, yep, we focused. And start. So let's see where we're at so far. As I kind of expected, it didn't really do anything. We're going to have to slow it down in order to get it to do right. We're going to have to slow it down. Um, I 
We're going to do an example project. Um, let's see if we can get back to that engraving. Yeah. Engraving. And we're going to try this different. Uh, We're going to do a slow engraving at 100% power, one pass. We're going to try it. We're going to change the power to slow, something more reasonable. Go ahead and start. <laughs> and there we go. Finished. So let's take a look and see exactly what we got. This is just one of the test images. And overall, it does a good job. It does a really good job. Nice, uh, decent engraving on it. Not bad. Cool. So I think maybe we need to, uh, I'm going to turn the power off and get the honeycomb set up next. After struggling with that plastic, that's probably the worst plastic I think I've ever tried to take off on anything. That was terrible. That was so difficult. I don't know why. And here's the honeycomb going in. There we go. Now let's try it with air assist and everything. We'll go ahead and just roll that in there. We'll go ahead and use our piece. Set up. Go ahead and do that. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. Control, we'll go ahead and zero. All right, now we'll move this to where it should be. And we'll go ahead and do another test cut. We'll do another test cut on him. This time we're gonna actually try the air assist. see a lot of smoke coming from this side over here. Now, I don't recommend running in the open like this. I recommend doing an actual, um, actually venting it through. I'll, I'll show you my setup, my other setup in a minute. So we'll go ahead and we'll just push this guy out of the way. And we'll check out the parts. Oh, didn't mean to do that, my bad. And as you can see, the, the parts cut really cleanly. I mean, they just pulled right out. Everything pops out super duper clean. And as you can see, with uh, with air assist, I mean, the cuts are super duper clean. But I'm, a, I'm guessing what it's, what it's going to be like. It's going to be like this. And I'll send this one off. Not that needs to go like that. And then this guy goes like this. And then our last piece goes like this. And we have a pencil or a pen holder, depending on what you want to do. And again, this is one of the example files that was just put on there. But super easy. And that, that's, I mean, laser cutters are super cool. Um, you can use them to cut sublimation blanks and everything else, but overall, that's super duper neat. Um, 
What I'm most impressed with is just how clean it actually cuts. For a budget laser, I mean, look at those cuts. That's amazing. I'm glad I was able to use a project file that they had to actually cut right. So that's super cool. All right, guys, so final thoughts. What do we think about this thing? Um, for a $299 laser, it's absolutely incredible. It cuts clean. It's super easy to build. Um, works great. Granted, you will want air assist. You'll want an enclosure. You'll want a honeycomb bed. So that's going to drive the price up a little bit, but you would need that with pretty much any open frame laser anyway. But uh, if you want to get started in laser cutting, it's a pretty solid way to do it. Um, as always, I'll have a link in the description where you can find everything along with the coupon from Alga Laser. And thank, once again, shout out to them for sending me this to try out. Um, it's a fantastic product. The anodized aluminum is beautiful. The quality of construction is great. It's a great laser cutter. Uh, the control panel interface is top notch. Um, it's the best I've seen on a budget laser. Um, so if you're interested in a laser cutter, go ahead and check the thing out. Well, anyway, it's getting a little chilly out here in the shop, guys, here in Tennessee. It's uh, about 40 degrees outside now, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and head on back in. But as always, if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more submation, laser cutting, and CNC content. And I love you guys. I'll see you later. Peace.